So it's time to see if you're all correct about the caddy and the noise from the engine being the dual mass flywheel having packed up. So we're going to get it in, we're going to get the dual mass flywheel off, gearbox out, flywheel off and have a look and we're going to put that solid flywheel conversion in. So guys today's the day, we've got the caddy in, or well, Pete's had the caddy in, I've been getting the MX-5 ready to pick up, Give, giving it another clean because it gets so dirty out there. Um, drive shafts out, drive shafts are out, Pete's got it all unbolted. We've got the controversial single mass fly kit over here. So there's been 50-50 on the comments as to whether this is going to cause me problems or not. What brand have we got? We've got uh, National. We have gone for a full kit. So we've got the friction plate, the clutch and the flywheel. We're placing it all at the same time and the release bearing. And I've got VW guys telling me it'll be fine and I've got VW guys telling me that it'll be a pain in the ass. So <laughs> we're going to risk it for a biscuit put it in and see how we get on because I could really do with the van to start bringing stuff over to the new unit. So we're going to pop it in and uh, you'll soon see how it goes. Box out now. You can hear it now. Oh well. Well done guys. That's the job. Well done to Petey for getting it out. I do like the way the VW ones all unbolt like this rather than have to pull the snap rings out. I quite like that. This flywheel. You will keep going now. Mm. Oh, good. So, old flywheel out. Let's get the new one in. Right, new flywheel in. So, we're making good progress. Well, I say we're making good progress. I'm doing paperwork while Pete's doing this. I've got so much on with the move. Um, trouble is what people don't realize as well with each car sale is there's quite a lot of paperwork behind it or if you're going to keep on top of stuff you've got quite a lot to do um so yeah it makes sense to have pete you do this he'll do it a hell of a lot quicker than i will and i'll stop putting fingerprints all over the flywheel as well not i know if that actually makes a difference or not but <laughs> i'm sure i'll have some comments down below new clutch in new release plate in all that guff i did ask pete what the torque settings were he said he doesn't work with torque settings he just works with his uh He's got a gun setting apparently, as in his biceps. <laughs> so he's like, yeah, no, we did do the proper torque settings. And you can see there's tip X in several places where Pete's done it to make sure that everything's been torqued up properly and isn't missed anything. So we're gonna get it all back in and then it's gonna be the test, isn't it? It's 50-50 on the channel. Those of you that said this is gonna drive terrible, those of you said it'll drive just as well. So we'll find out who's right. So, box is back in. While Petey finishes bolting that back up, I figure I might as well, because the Mazda's gone now. Um, crack on, wire brush these wheels down a bit. We're just gonna do a basic refurb on them. I'm gonna wire brush them down, and then use a thick stone chip, black stone chip, to give them a coat, and then put silver over the top of that. To be honest, for the price that I can get a set of wheels for used on the mar on marketplace, but marketplace, like a lot of you suggested, it doesn't merit spending a lot of time on these because I can get a whole set of wheels for like 80 quid. So, uh, because so many people put alloys on them, the steels are, a, you know, 10 a penny. But we're just gonna basic tidy up on it for the moment. Um, well, like I say, Pete's doing that. I'm kept them on the car for a moment, just gonna spin them while I do them. Just make things a bit easier for me. Pretty done, what are we, like one o'clock now, I think? Uh, let's have a listen. The skeleton doing his thing in a biscuit tin, as many of you called it, has gone. He's ceased. No knocking noise. Just a very sweet sounding little diesel. Happy with that. Ideal. So, we've still got to obviously take a bit of drive and see how that works. I'm just waiting for the wheels to dry off a minute. Like I say, I just. Um, very quickly stone chip them and then gave them a blast over with a generic silver paint. There's one that's bad, I'm not sure this one's gonna have to be redone. Got a lot of had a lot of rust on it. I tried to cover it over with a bit of the uh, stone chip, but the others that were had lighter rust on the stone chips kind of leveled the surface off quite nicely. And they look alright. So we'll get them on and go for a drive. So guys, we're in the caddy. We're gonna get some tubs for the uh, 
workshop for the new workshop to pack some of my stuff away and I thought might as well take the caddy to do it I've taxed it so that it's all road legal to drive without the tray plates on let's see what we think of this new clutch well we got into first and second absolutely fine into third there is no discernible difference to me at all other than the fact I now have a silent engine bay and he's got a really nice change actually let's put you up on the dash for a minute Check this, uh, what are you looking at there it's, uh, we head out on the road we'll just put you up on the dash a bit excuse me there guys take it a little bit further right so off we go driving lovely guys absolutely lovely sorry let's keep it up here it's driving lovely guys absolutely lovely smooth as you like gear changes are absolutely fine take up of the clutch is lovely Gear changes are nice, nothing's crunching or vibrating, I've got my foot down on the clutch now, I feel no vibration through the pedal at all. The engine's humming away nicely, as you'd expect from one of these. Take off slowly so I don't throw the camera about. The turbo's got a lovely bit of kick to it, about 1500 revs plus. I always thought, I always knew it drove well because I drove it before, didn't I? And it drove really well. It was just that noise at startup. But the clutch itself, guys, I'm, I'm going to call that a win. Unless this, the problems people talk about happen over a, a large number of miles. And my initial thoughts are that that has been very successful. When I scored a bargain on the clutch kit, I think it was seventy-five pounds plus the OPT. £100 for the day, so it's £175, and um, we've got a van that's got a new MOT on it, it's got a new cam belt and water pump, and a new clutch and flywheel, so it's all set for a new owner to do some serious miles in, I'd have said. That's if it goes to a new owner, because I'm half tempted to keep it for myself, especially with the move to the new unit. And... Um, um, like I say, we'll go nip over B&Q now and pick up a load of tubs, start moving some stuff out. But uh, big thanks as always to Pete who cracked on with that while I painted the wheels up and uh, did that MX-5 handover and a bit of other paperwork. Also had a call from a customer who I sold a car to last year who wants to sell it back to me because it was a starter car and now she's going to move on to something bigger. So uh, I'll go through that with you if that deal goes ahead. But no. That's looking like a win, guys. Well, I couldn't get my tubs because being used to all masks, I forgot that, so I, I didn't have one on me, having hopped in the van. But drives absolutely lovely, guys. Absolutely lovely, fantastic van. Really pokey. Really pokey. It's really surprising me how much punch it's got, really, with that little uh, turbo diesel kicking in. It's got some real punch on it. Uh, that wheel was a little bit rusty, so it hasn't come out that great. It might, might need redoing, but the front ones. Where I use a stone chip and then put silver on, actually looked really quite quite good. So I've tidied it up a lot. It's looking fairly smart now, and this young lady still wants to see it, but I'm in two minds because like I say I want to use it. But uh, yeah, so my opinion, obviously I've not had long-term ownership of it, so I can't be 100%. But my initial opinion of going for the solid um, flywheel, absolutely fine. Uh, we don't forget we did the clutch and the clutch release plate and the uh, sorry clutch release bearing all in one go so I imagine if you try and put an old clutch back in again or something like that you might well have problems and I do hear that the six speed aren't as favorable as the five speed 
but you know my opinion having driven it now initially is there's no difference at all other than the fact i haven't got the noise in the engine bay anymore so that's it for the caddy next time you see it, it's probably going to be driving stuff back and forth to the new unit and there will be a video coming out very very soon on the new unit but other than that thanks as always for watching really do appreciate it if you aren't subscribed please do consider hitting that subscribe down button down below if you've enjoyed the video please hit that like button because it will suggest it to other people on the algorithm on youtube and allow them to watch it as well but as always thanks for all the support see you again soon guys